Hey guys, Gene here with G Squared Tactical. If you watched our other videos, you know that we've just recently done a tabletop on this Springfield Prodigy uh, DS or 2011. And we did a range and a tabletop. And I had to clean this thing today. And I was going by the owner's manual, completely by the owner's manual, because there's not a whole lot online about how to take it down and stuff like that. So in the owner's manual, and the reason I'm doing this video is because I learned something the hard way. Now you may be able to follow the follower. You may be able to follow the owner's manual after you know you do the initial first one. But what happened to me, and just kind of share this with you in case you run into this, the owner's manual obviously, of course, tells you to lock the slide back, make sure it's safe, no magazine, of course, and then to at that point push your takedown pin out here and basically take the slide off like you would a 1911, right? And at that point, take the provided tool, which this is not it. We had to improvise. I left it over at my house, so Trey found one. But the one that comes with, it's about half that size or less. And to after you have the slide off, to put your tool in there and basically left, loose, right, tight, left to, to take the end of this, this guide rod off, right? Well, what I found was is that it was so tight, I guess factory tight, that with the slide off and me trying to remove the end of that guide rod, the entire guide rod just sit there and spun inside of the slide like I was getting nowhere. No matter how much I tried to hold it still with my hand, it just was not working. It just was not coming off. So I found out that and again, after you do this the first time, you may be able to take the slide off the second time. But I found what, what worked for me was to take this, lock the slide back while the, the spring and everything is still contained inside the slide here and not able to rotate to go ahead. Now, <clears throat> it was a little stiff. Yeah, I did, did have to put some pressure on it, but just turn it to the left, break it loose, and then I took it out three or four turns. Don't take it all the way out, just loosen it up. Then go ahead at that point and take your slide off. And I can tell you also from experience that that pin is really, really tight. So get you a little something to punch with, you know, a pin is what I used. And then at that point, that'll help you take it out. And maybe, you know, I, I guess because it's recessed in here, I just could not get my fingers in there to pull it out. So I, I actually used a plastic punch, but again, we're using the trusty old uh, pin here. Then you go ahead, take your slide off, just like you would on a 1911. Of course, you can put this to the side. There's really no more disassembly of that. I did take the firing pin, also took the ejector rod out, that's a fairly simple process that we won't get into today because I know most of you guys are not going to do that. But if you would like to see that, you can uh, you can certainly let us know. So then at that point, you kind of push your, your guide rod forward here and just finish unscrewing this. And of course, you see how the spring bowed up there. Keep pressure on it or whoever's in the room with you may lose an eye because it will go flying right so go ahead and take your spring out and then push this little piece here out um this is uh, i mean i guess they call it a single piece guide rod but from what i'm looking at it looks like four pieces okay so but it's a single piece guide rod at least what they said anyway and then of course just like on a 1911 just push your barrel um out of the slide and you're ready to clean it up you know again i did take all of this out for the sake of time i won't do that today that way that uh but if you guys would like to see that i certainly can we'll just do it another time just let us know get enough inquiries about it we'll do it put it back together put your your, your barrel back in put this piece back in how it came out there and then what I did, again, if you're looking at the owner's manual, it will tell you a little bit different. But none of that was really working out for me. So I just kind of done it my own way. I pushed this this piece here, the I guess you'd say the the third 
third piece of the guide rod. I kind of pushed it in, worked my spring down in here, and you really have to play around with this. Again, keep some pressure on it. People in the room would probably appreciate it. Just work that down in there. Almost, almost got my own self on that one. And once you get it in there and you grab them threads, you know, it's it'll hold. It'll hold in there. It won't come out. So you just tighten it up, push this all the way out, tighten it up, hand tight is what I did, right? And then you just put it back on the frame. And and Trey can probably attest to this that uh, it, the cicada is a whole lot easier to take down. Yeah, uh, it yeah. is, but you know, like you were saying, it, it this has a lot of TRP tendencies, a lot of TRP tendencies, and it it doesn't necessarily take down like that classical 2011 staccato, whatever other 2011 you might have, be it an STI or whatever, but it, it definitely takes down differently. I don't know if this will loosen up, but I'll tell you right now, um, from the factory, this taking the slide off was not an option for me. It was not going to happen. And I just by chance tried it this way. It just kind of made sense to me. And, um, you know, if somebody has a better way, by all means, let us know. But I also know that this doggone thing right here was was just super tight. And I found myself just pounding that thing to get it back in place. Um, and, you know, once it goes in, it's in. As we mentioned in the video, the slide lock is really awkward and hard to get in. But then I just basically took this and put it back in my a guide rod here and just gave it a little snug didn't didn't put a bunch of pressure on it at all uh, i didn't get my uh my, my my fat screwdriver my 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 torque screwdriver and torque it down or anything i don't know if this even has torque specs i guess if it does and we didn't get them good enough we'll find out the next time we shoot it but i just gave it a little snug I've sat there and racked it. All of our friends have, and everything seems fine. So that's it. That's how you uh, take it down. I was able to clean it. Again, if you would like to see, it, it just takes a little bit of time. A little, it's, it, it's, it's, it's tedious, or it can be, to taking this guide rod and this uh, firing pin out of here. It, I mean, it's relatively easy to get it out, but it's not so much so to get it back in. It can be kind of tedious and time consuming for a video. But if you guys want to see it, hey, you know, put it in the comments, let us know. Be happy to put a video up. So uh, again, thanks for watching. Anything you could tell us, it's kind of new to us too. This worked for me, as you could see. Uh, just let us know. Again, we appreciate you guys watching and um, make sure you subscribe and hit that thumbs up.